Hey, Caveken, with a brand new K40 laser related video. Sorry that I took so long, but I have so many projects going on that I needed a little break. Not from YouTube, but uh, from making K40 videos. However, I used the machine for cutting iris blades recently. That's part of my T800 Terminator skull project. So no worries, the laser still gets used a lot. Now, for today, I have a very interesting topic. Can you weld plastic with a K40? Therefore I will try if I can weld myself a custom shaped watertight bag or balloon. Now the idea isn't new, I recently read an article about it. Unfortunately I can't find it back and give credit for it. If someone of you know who came up with this idea, please let me know in the comments and I will put the name in the description. For welding plastic with our K40, we need to spread out the laser beam as we don't want to cut or engrave, but only heat up the material to a certain temperature. Enough to fuse two sheets of plastic together, like uh, this plastic bag here. Now on the bigger 60 or 100 watt Chinese laser machines, you can lower the motorized laser bed. Yes, I know that's a pretty awesome feature, but the K40 does not come with it. Even though there are pre-made kits you can install in your machine to upgrade. I don't own one, so usually I take out the laser grid and use some wood chunks to get about the required height. As I showed in the video of how to engrave cylinders without a rotary attachment, the focal point of the laser still has an astonishing wide range, but for welding plastics we want the laser to be as much out of focus as possible. So to avoid of taking out the laser bed, I simply take out the focus lens. Yes, I carefully take out the lens so we are not focusing the beam at all. What I want to achieve is having a wide weld seam, the wider the better. So having our laser beam unfocused to around 4 or 5 millimeters in diameter seems to be ideal. Here you can see that even without the lens, the laser penetrated deep into this sheet of plywood. Now again to several comments. I am well aware of the danger of using a class 4 laser device, especially with the lid open. I take multiple safety precautions to avoid any direct and indirect laser radiation from hitting my eyes or skin. I am aware of the infrared radiation as well. Often I even leave the room and watch the camera picture on my mobile phone. So please always close the lid when using your laser and uh, use a pair of safety goggles that blocks the appropriate wavelength. What in the case of a CO2 laser lies between 9.4 and 10.6 nanometers. With that said, let's weld some plastics. I made a very very simple design here, basically two circles while the bigger one has a fill tap on one side. I start with a minimum power on the laser, what on my machine lies around 10 milliamps and a feed rate of 50 millimeters per second. Okay, so this has been a little too fast. As you can see, I can easily pull apart the two layers of plastic here. But um, the basic idea seems to work pretty well. Let's crank down the feed rate to 35 millimeters per second. This looks even better and yes, it seems to have welded. Let's try 30 millimeters per second. Okay, so this is too slow. You see the laser burned right through. So 35 millimeters per second seem to be my speed of choice. Now, as there is no lens in the machine, I need to use a classic pair of good old scissors to cut out the shape. I could reinstall the lens and make a second pass to cut through the material, but as this is only an experiment, I'm fine with just cutting them out manually. Now let's try filling this thing with water. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Look at this. I can make balloons now, or ice cube makers. I hope you liked the video. There is more on my channel to discover. So check it out and please subscribe. Let me know what you are using the plastic welding technique for. I bet you come up with way better ideas than I do. Okay, so this is gonna make it for this video today. I uh, hope I see you on the next one. Until then, see ya!